Hey, what's up guys? This is Cole with CJC Off-Road and today I am going to show you guys uh, how and why we adjust our uh, nitrogen charge steering stabilizers. In our last video of this truck, we actually introduced you guys to the Carly Low Mount steering stabilizer we installed on it. Uh, we're actually now going to show you how we basically set the, pre the nitrogen stabilizer to the ideal pressure for your vehicle. So first things first, uh, this Carly low mount string stabilizer uh, comes out of the box with 140 PSI. So what I'm going to do is show you guys basically how the truck drives with 140 PSI in the stabilizer. Keep in mind this will not be the same result for everybody. Some trucks the stabilizer will be perfect right out of the box. Other trucks will require more adjustment than this. So we'll go ahead and uh, set to the, or uh, take the truck for a spin, show you guys how this thing drives with 140 PSI and uh, let's go for a ride. We're on the initial test drive now. Um, you already feel a difference from running the stabilizer, but now we need to adjust it. So first thing you'll notice, um, or actually what you'll want to do is go on a relatively flat road. So I found a great, nice flat spot on the California freeways here. You'll want to be really uh, sure to find a very flat spot on the road. This is critical in order to get this thing set straight. So if you go on a section of road that's either crown left or right, the big off-road tires that you're most likely running on your truck are going to exaggerate that left or right pull, right? So you get a nice flat section of road and it'll really uh, uh, aid in basically dialing in your stabilizer pressure to get it exactly right to find the best happy medium between pulling one way or the other uh, for the most centered driving experience. You'll notice the truck is very slightly pulling to the right. It's, it's not bad but it does have a very slight right pull. And uh, believe it or not, this is normal. So this stabilizer came pre-charged with 150 PSI or 140 PSI onto the box. Now with 140 PSI, it's actually a little bit more than what we need. And that is the great thing about these stabilizers is we can fine tune the amount of push they exhibit. So again, if you look here, it's nothing drastic. So, I mean, in theory, you could throw the stabilizer on and a lot of guys would be happy with it. But to really get, to really take advantage of the benefits the stabilizer has to offer, uh, you'll most likely need to perform an adjustment. So here's the right pull. So we're gonna go ahead and head back to the shop. We're going to adjust the stabilizer pressure down. I'll show you guys how we do that. And uh, we'll go from there. So just got back from the test drive. As you can see, the truck does have a very minor right pull. But uh, you know that's an easy thing for us to adjust, and that's actually the beauty of these steering stabilizers. So you figure your standard off-the-shelf, you know, budget dual stabilizer kit, you throw it on the truck and forget it, right? Wrong, because you put that on the truck, and say you have a left radial pull, you have a right radial pull from your tires, you have no ability to correct that with the steering stabilizer. Nitrogen charged steering stabilizer, not only is it doing the work of a stabilizer by damping what's going on in the steering, you actually have the ability to fine tune how the truck goes down the road. We're gonna go ahead and check the nitrogen pressure now to see what we're working with. And uh, it should in theory be 140 PSI out of the box. What I have here is a no loss nitrogen gauge. Uh, these are available online. Uh, some tire shops have access to them, but we recommend getting a quality one online to ensure a minimal nitrogen loss. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. So as you can see, existing pressure is about 140. So we'll go ahead and release some of that pressure out of it. And it's, it goes quick, so you gotta be careful. So there, okay. So 90 PSI is where I'm going to set this at. Um, so let's go ahead and give that a shot. So it's at 90, we'll go ahead and remove the zero loss gauge. Fun little tip, don't forget the Schrader valve. It's easy for these things to go missing and uh, it actually does help protect the valve itself. So I'll put the straighter valve cap back on and let's go ahead and see how she drives. So we made some adjustments to the pressure. Uh, we're running right about 90 PSI. Um, keep in mind that this setting doesn't apply to everybody, right? So even if you're ha you have the same truck, the same wheel and tire combination, just uh, general variations in these trucks, um, it may not always be the same rule of thumb in terms of what pressure is right for which tire combination. A lot of this is a seat of the pants kind of thing, right? So as you're adjusting it, you're trying to get um, basically the perfect happy medium between you know, pulling one way or the other and having a set of the track straight. Uh, in this case, we found that that's 90 PSI. Uh, so as you'll notice, I can let go of the steering wheel, 
truck's not pointing to the right, it's tracking nice and straight. And believe it or not, that was only about a 10 second nitrogen pressure change. So super cool how you have this adjustability with these stabilizers. It's definitely something that you want to take advantage of on your own truck. And um, again, keep in mind, um, there is a large amount of variance, right? So you can be anywhere between about 70 PSI and even about 200 PSI. So you have a lot of room for adjustment to try to get just the right combination for your truck. So you saw how we did it on my truck. Uh, keep in mind your truck is likely going to be quite a bit different, right? So this is not one size fits all. Generally, uh, you know, all of us running the same nitrogen pressure may not exactly yield the same results due to variations in caster, things like that, right? Uh, also keep in mind, this is not necessarily a one size fix all for steering issues. So say for instance, your whole truck is tweaked and for some reason it just keeps pointing to the right. Yeah, putting a Carly stabilizer in the right configuration on it may help with that right pull. But uh, we typically recommend making sure your alignment is squared away prior to dialing in your steering stabilizer. Again, we like to refer to this as a cherry on top. So uh, let's explain how this theory works, right? So. If you look at the, the Carly steering stabilizer, like on my truck, for instance, the driver's side is mounted on the axle, passenger side on the steering. So as that stabilizer extends, it's actually pushing the steering to the right, right? Um, not every uh, stabilizer mounting configuration is going to be the same. So a lot of these, like the older Rams, a lot of times low mounts will actually push the other way. But the general idea is when the stabilizer is mounted to your truck and it is fully extended, whichever way the truck is turned, is how is the direction that stabilizer will, will push. So you have anywhere of a range from, you know, roughly 70 PSI up to about 200, uh, where these things are still pretty functional. Keep in mind, around 70, 80, 90 PSI, these stabilizers don't really push much. So they're still doing the job of damping your steering, but they are not really, you know, doing a huge push one way or the other. Uh, as you start getting up to 140, 150, things like that, it really starts to push. And this can be a great way to basically fine tune how your truck handles. Say, uh, you know, say for instance, your alignment's dead on, all your specs are correct. And for some, you know, you get a very minor radial pull one way or the other with your tires. The stabilizer is a great way to correct that. So again, to preface or to reemphasize this, uh, stabilizers are not a one size fix all for alignment but they do a great job of fixing uh, radial tire pulls. And so that is something um, not all steering stabilizers do again. And it's a great advantage, uh, in my opinion, of these higher end steering stabilizers. Uh, this generally applies to the Carly low mounts and high mounts, you know, any of the Carly stainless line of steering stabilizers, in addition to some of the Fox 2.0s, uh, usually does not apply to Kings. Kings are usually fixed and basically how they push. Uh, so again, this applies to Carly and Fox steering stabilizers. I understand this can be a lot to take in um, and you know some, some of you guys will probably be using this video for reference at some point as you're trying to get your setup dialed in. We totally understand that. Uh, don't be embarrassed. Don't be ashamed to reach out to us. I, you know, again, that's why we're here. That's why you offer tech support for all the products that we sell. So we are more than happy to help walk you through this process and help you get your setup dialed in 110%. Um, we have, you know, a lot of ways to contact us, you know, phone, email, things like that. Again, we really don't mind, so you're not intruding. Uh, feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you get your truck dialed in exactly how it needs to be. We're hoping to do a lot more tech videos like this. Uh, we're putting a lot of time into these to try to make sure that it addresses any and all questions you guys might have. If there's something you guys haven't seen um, and you'd like us to address it in one of these videos, uh, feel free to let us know because we are trying to obviously be as helpful as we can with these videos for you guys. So we appreciate you watching. There's a lot more content to come. Uh, feel free to follow us on YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. We have a lot of different social media channels where we uh, display these products and their benefits. Uh, thanks again for watching.